Hi guys and welcome back to yet another video of the series Reading Journal on our channel, also known as CLCEK15. This time I will be giving you the news relating to a superstar of the famous series High School Musical, Zac Efron and his comeback with the movie The Greatest Showman. So, enjoy! Despite the progress we made in the 1800s, racial tensions still exist today, and Irvin hopes the greatest showman will help effect change. We are still dealing with these issues today, he said. There's no question that we are dealing with certain aspects that are so antiquated, and I love singing and celebrating that we can overcome these issues. I think that's what Philip and Arnie are all about. Irvin's decision to return to the musical genre seems to be paying off. The Greatest Showman was nominated for three Golden Globe Awards, including Best Movie for Musical or Comedy. For Irvin, who came to fame for his leading role in the high school musical franchise, his return to his musical roots hasn't been easy. It's not like riding a bike. You can't just remember instantly and pick up where you left off," he said. These dances were level up for sure. The one with huge the other side, I think we got the Arctic 56 or something like that. It was a long day at work, but it was nice when we finally got it. Alfred also credits Ray C for his return to musicals. The Greatest Showman is the Australian director's first foray into feature films. Gracie previously worked as a visual effects artist and directed commercials. Michael Gracie is someone I've always wanted to work with, Evan said. I thought if there was any way I could add Bolu and help him accomplish this movie, then I wanted to. I heard Hilt was in it and that wasn't a bad thing either. Those are two of the greatest showmen ever. The Greatest Showman, his theaters, December the 22nd. So that's all for tonight. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Thank you very much for listening and have a good night.